Thank you for coming and watching our presentation today. As you can see, our presentation is on air conditioning. Um, so for our project, we analyzed Buena's air conditioning system. Uh, we measured the classrooms and calculated the best ways we could not only save energy, save money, but also um, have the least way to emit CO2 into the environment. So here's our presentation. Um, I'm Kat Lombardi. Uh, I'm Nate Jones. Chris Bell. Stevie Sweet. Keep it So when we began, um, we all felt that our air conditioning system for Buena was a little iffy. So we went ahead and tried to test those that hypothesis by um, asking the teachers with a teacher survey about what they thought about the air conditioning. Um, so basically, our questions were, do you think the temperature of the room reflects the temperature stayed on the thermostat? And a majority said no, which went with our hypothesis. And also we asked, um, do you feel that the system should be updated? And a lot said yes. And so that's kind of what we addressed in our project. Um, so the problem that we wanted to assess, like Kat said, is the temperature of each of the classes. And we didn't feel that it accurately represented what it was on the thermostat. So um, we took the temperature in each class of a sample, in each one in each wing, and then we looked at what the temperature said on the thermostat, and we found that there was a large difference in that. Um, and so we found that because it was inaccurate, we thought that it would decrease, we could find a way to decrease the energy consumption and decrease the amount of CO2 emitted. So we wanted to figure out um, what is the solution to this. So our goal is to reduce energy loss, decrease CO2 emissions, and save money from faulty thermostats. Our objective was to take the school, well this is school electricity bill, and what we did here is we um, had them give us school electricity bill to compare the rates that we got from, from the thermostats, and then compare what we found to the actual school electricity bill. Um, how we calculated it is we took hours and we subtracted from the school energy bill, and we found out the amount of remaining energy, and then found out the other energy, and then took those and compared them to find out how much energy was being wasted, and how much money was being lost to the energy being wasted. Um, so our project objective um, is to decrease energy consumption of the total um, total energy used by at least five percent by recalibrating or re. Um, replacing the thermostats to produce a more energy efficient school year and we want to implement this by the fall of 2017 so we have at least a year to make the adjustments for this project. So our plan to do this was to find how much energy and money was being lost and wasted and then from there on we were going to find how to either recalibrate the thermostats to improve the accuracy of them or end up replacing them and to replace them we had to see how much money it would cost to replace each thermostat each class and which thermostats need to be replaced. Uh, so our first step would be to recalibrate and clean the thermostats, but due to the age of some of the thermostats, like they're over 10 years old, uh, they would possibly need to be replaced in order to fix them. Okay, so these were our results for uh, the classrooms. We went to the Spanish classrooms, we asked the administration what's the average size of a classroom here, and they said if you go to the Spanish room and take measurements, um, that's going to be your average size for basically all the rooms here. So we went there, took measurements, uh, found an online calculator, so we have measurements for the height, the length, and the width of the room. Uh, we used that, and we found the amount of energy it would take to increase or decrease the temperature of the room by one degree. So once we have that, um, we saw that every class was off by an average of 1.7 degrees. Um, so we take that number and multiply it by the number of classrooms here, um, and then we multiply that by the number of days that the air conditioning is on, which is 300. That's a very uh, conservative number right there because we're not accounting for the summers, and it's on during breaks. So 300 is a fairly conservative number. Um, we would save about 75,000 kilowatt hours per year and that would be a great help to reduce uh, CO2 emissions as well as money for the school.
Uh, Boyd uses the electricity provided by the Mandalay Generating Station in Oxnard. It's not coal powered, so it's not going to be as much as it would be saving energy for the school if it was coal powered, but it uses natural gas, which is still a contributor to uh, climate change. As you can see, 1.22 pounds of CO2 is emitted per kilowatt hour. So when you multiply that number by the 75,000, you can see how, how much CO2 is actually going to be emitted into the atmosphere. We would save 92,403 uh, pounds of CO2 uh, from being emitted into the atmosphere just by recalibrating and saving faulty thermostat readings. And then this is the money, 12,500 per year. This is a, a key number because Honestly, I, we don't think the schools would adopt this if it wasn't going to save them money. This is an incentive for schools to replace and uh, recalibrate the thermostats. So the cost to replace the thermostats with labor and the amount of the, how much the thermostat costs would be $140. And uh, the classrooms at Buena, we have 88 classrooms, so total that would be $12,320, and which is less than the 12,500 we would save each year. And so if we follow the plan where we replace them every 10 years, in the end we would save um, $112,680. And then we did some calculations about what the school could do with the money that they save. So we found that we could um, have 5,000 lunches, 125 textbooks, 55 laptops, eight hydration stations, and 291 students can go to Anacapa Island and participate in a restoration project. So uh, our evaluation method to make sure that the thermostats were working properly once recalibrated or replaced would be to repeat what we did in the first place by taking thermometers and testing their numbers against the numbers of the thermostats. Uh, we would also continue to look at the school's energy bill and see the numbers that uh, we compare the numbers to see if we are saving energy. Like, and uh, our communication plan would be to um, show the data in a proposal, which we are doing today. Um, then put it on social media to get the students involved and get people to know what we're trying to do. Um, then we bring our proposal to the district and um, hope that the district would then adopt our plan. That's a presentation. Thank you.